26 million people nationwide suffer from chronic kidney disease. About 700,000 patients are here in the D.C. area, leading the rest of the nation. Kidney disease is also the ninth leading cause of death. This weekend, the National Kidney Foundation wants you to get dressed up to help them fight this deadly disease. Joining us this morning, Nicole Delisio, who is a donor, and Rachel Schreiberman, a recipient. Thank you both for getting up early and being with us. Nicole, I'm going to start with you. This is one of the largest black tie fundraisers for the National Kidney Foundation Saturday where and are tickets still available? Yes, tickets are still available online. The event is at the Omni Shore Hotel in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And it is the largest kidney event for the National Kidney Foundation. And special guests, I know there's yes, special guests. Yes, yeah, the Commodores. The Commodores are coming to play. And the theme this year is masquerade. So people will be dressed up. And if you don't feel like dressing up, <laughs> they'll have props there that you can use. And okay, that yeah. sounds like a lot of fun. It is. A mystery and intrigue, no mystery. We need money to raise funds for That's education, right. awareness, and uh, donor organs. And Rachel, mm -hmm. you were very young when you had your first transplant. Quickly yes. tell us about that. I had just turned 23 years old. And I didn't know at the time, but I was living with high blood pressure. I was having some vision issues. That led me to go into the emergency room, and I discovered I was living with very high blood pressure, which is actually the second leading cause of kidney disease. Mm -hmm. And that first transplant came from your twin? From my identical twin sister, Stephanie, yes. But then it failed again, so you needed another transplant. How did you reach out to Nicole? Nicole and I had been living together for just a couple months, actually, but we became fast friends and just immediately were on the same wavelength. and. I would shared with her some stories about my health and confided in her. She was always the person who was there with me for every single doctor's appointment. Just the most incredible friend that I could have asked for. Um, and she had offered to donate to me just after a couple of so months of knowing each other. And as the doctor's appointments unfolded, and we and I was they wanted you to get a non-family member. That's right. Because of the recurrence, they wanted me to look outside of my family. Um, mm -hmm. And, and there she, she stepped went. up. She Nicole, stepped up. what are some things that a donor needs to consider before, if, after they offer, really going through with it? Well, the the transplant program we we had our transplant at Georgetown. They there is a screening process. You go through a lot of medical examinations, and I was never afraid to donate because mm -hmm. if you're they won't let you donate if it's a risk to you in the future exactly. so I never had any fears we went through the process seamlessly and we donated in May of this year that's amazing mm -hmm. and you right. look both Almost six look months. very healthy Thank you. you're doing well mm -hmm. and you've also started something to pay it forward that's yeah. right after my first transplant I learned about the waiting list which is more than 100,000 people in this country who are waiting for a transplant and I um, wanted to work with patients who are on dialysis using art. I got my master's in art therapy. Nicole and I started an organization called Kindred Kidneys, where we go into dialysis units and we work with patients while they're on dialysis using art as a means of expression. Wonderful Col collaboration, the two of you again. The ball is Saturday at the Omni Shore. Tickets are still available. There's the website on our website. We have a link at WUSA9.com. It should be a fun time for a very, very worthy cause. Thank These you. two women are examples of the success of this ball. Thank Thanks you so for much. being with us. We'll be right back.